vision board is on my phone. That is the only thing I've got because I put things I fantasize about on my phone. So whenever my phone rings, I look at it to see my visions and dreams. I am reminded of my own personal visions and dreams when I read this to make one of those dreams come true. My heart skips a beat every time I answer my phone calls. One of the calls you have to make is that wishes are granted. Those, whether I'm texting or emailing, I'm attempting to fulfill a lifelong ambition. When it comes to nonsense, I have no time for it. Tell others what you think of me on the internet. Regardless of what they claim, they don't know me. No matter how hard I try, God always have mine back. Regardless of what you have to say, your identity and the identity of those around you have to be clarified. You have a lot to learn. Know who you are and where you come from. My God is going to let none of this happen to me. All of us have folks who are working against us at one time or another. Negative comments can be made. Human nature is to get in there and give it a shot. To get them in order, you can't just show them that they are incorrect. You have to prove it to them. This technique has a flaw. It's where you have one person on board. Three more will appear as soon as the situation is resolved. As a result, you will be continually striving to protect yourself. You will get sucked in by the fight you will be waging. It's something you were never meant to do. You are aware of how much effort it requires trying to recoup money from a debtor, spending what you will need to get through the daydreams. Defending yourself is not required by God. Say that you don't have to worry about him defending you. All of the negative feedback has been collected. Distractions. I am angry because I am an excellent player person. Regardless of how skilled you are at being kind, it doesn't matter. Notwithstanding, it's a given that someone will not like you. Even Jesus went through this. He performed nothing but good deeds. But he was loved, firstly. That he was misinterpreted. How was he able to maintain a clean image? In first period, notwithstanding the fact that he did not retaliate because he never sinned. After being caught out, he walked away. In God's hands, how much more tranquility can there be? Had you been there? Or had you been here? You would have if you were to stop putting your backs on the curb of God's mighty hands. The God will vindicate you. I can assure you that. He will vindicate you if not better than everyone else. To pay people back is a waste, is a waste of your time and energy. Persuade them to alter their perspective. Many people aren't going to work out for you. Their intent is they don't want you to misunderstand them. To take a look at, you can't change your perspective from where you are right now. In the middle of an unwindable conflict, engage in a conversation in letting go of their concerns about what others think. Think about anything else instead of getting agitated on how to take revenge. My life isn't going to be consumed by anxiety. 
thinking about what someone else says. I'm sad because God forbid I am disliked by them. That's when you come to my defense. The universe's creator will begin his day. If they try to make you appear terrible, he will do everything he can to make you look good. Look at it in a different way. He will make you shine and stop wasting your money. Anything you do, you have a way of defending yourself. His way vast in the ways of enforcing the law, ways to prove your innocence. If you are engrossed with the opinions of others, you will have a hard time focusing. People assume what I'm trying to do is persuading. You will get sidetracked if you look at me. You will miss out on what God promised he would do for you. Fight your own fight. He will take care of that friend who is in trouble. Attempting to cast doubt on your character. If you have a problem, God knows how to solve it. Without a reason, you can be disliked by others. If they were aware of your identity, they would be a different matter entirely. They didn't like the way you conducted yourself, but, but they look at you from afar. You are disliked due to your happiness because you are from a different country. Behind your back, they will attack you to minimize the discredit you are putting yourself through. Indignation we ensure as well as attempting to rectify the situation being caught in the middle of an unwindable war is intended to be one of the things they don't control is your future the most important skills we may acquire is to simply disregard it and move on with your life those who are more fortunate in the hands of I will defend you. God promised in Jeremiah. Can you picture what I will do for you? Having access to the universe's creator, securing your side. You don't need to prove yourself to others about yourself. You can rest easy knowing that it is safe to do so. Not a fire you should get involved in. The battle is yours, but you have the upper hand of the laws. He has never lost a case, I may tell you that. Isn't it time you sat down? Let your defender do what he was hired to do. Someone's prayers are taken seriously by God. Discredits your, your, your good name. If God sees you don't have to be upset on what's going on here, they will also be affected by him. At times, be quiet. In some cases, he will let them continue speaking. That's all they are going to do is keep advertising you. They are causing you pain. Truthfully, God is assisting you, returning the favor. Your goal is to push you to new heights defender i struck up a conversation with a gentleman when i was at work because his supervisor made him feel like a failure i informed this man that people were against him let him know god is your protector therefore don't live your life in fear unable to get your thoughts in order to frustrate your boss, you are not going anywhere if you don't give it your all. Being a subordinate, this man is a deity and you are working for him. Return to work with a fresh perspective attitude. One day, the company's chief 
executive officer was in the neighborhood. His work impressed the CEO much. A year after that, a post opened up available. That information should have been forwarded to his supervisor. But the CEO of this company now is being offered the role rather than having to deal with this jerk for a living. This person is extremely difficult to get along with the boss, which is now on the other side of the table working under his direction. Touch not my anointed ones. It reads in his arms, you are God's chosen ones. And he knows it that each and every slow directed at you. In the case of this man, justice has been served. God will introduce new stages soon. Make a difference. Something is beyond your control. Living a life of disappointment. Someone you've never had a chance to win over. An extended period of time. And everybody else isn't meant to be for you. There is no need to strive to recompense. Then, fight back. Running race with purpose and enthusiasm is all you need to do. Let the bad vibes pass you by. Although I don't mean to be negative. There will always be someone talking about you. There's always going to be someone who is envious. You don't have to get involved with that sort of thing. How much more liberated would your life be if you had more freedom? Certain cases would begin to be abandoned. The power of God is yours if you are in his grasp. Worshiping God is a form of devotion. There is one thing or group that can stop you. There is no such thing as a human promotion. This has been given to us by our Lord. No matter what you do, there are certain people who will never change their minds and will not be a good fit for you. Everybody won't be a fan of yours. I hope you understand what I am saying. Want everyone to like you? You will have to work hard at it to get in the bind. What is the amount of time you spend worrying? In terms of the statements they are making, doing my best to recompense what person being unflattering to you. There is no time for all of it. Pettiness goes into one ear and out from the other. To move forward with the help of that energy God given aspirations, it is one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I hear to the teachings of Emerson, how difficult can it be for what a man can do being himself in a world that doesn't accept it, trying to mold him into something he's not. As a result, how do you proceed? I must however consider my options. Is it that you have to completely ignore everyone else? In order to be who you really are without being tainted by other people's opinions, negativity, and positivity so that they are both sorts of servitude. Close your door. You've had to do this. Turn off your phone. You will need to press the power button now. Shut down your PC. You have to take a seat. You have to relax with God and yourself. Let it speak for itself through you, giving to self destruction or deterred by the views of others negative and favorable opinions of others 
people's perceptions of you. Your dream may have a wide range of options. No one's business except yours. The power of our collective imagination. My friend share a piece of my past with me is being listened to, but in the hands of creative writers. There are a number of methods that, that might enhance your productivity sense in order to have a greater sense of self-worth. Do not program yourself. You are programmed by life. Are you surrounded by people who aspire and motivate you? That can benefit your health. It's up to you whether your life is an adventure or a nightmare body. Every situation in which you put yourself at risk should be avoided at all costs. The condition in which your resources are at a minimum vision, you are utilizing a finite amount of it to what you can do to the extent that you can. Thanks for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.